Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We serve a good God. We serve a we serve a good God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, family of God, uh, let me say this to you that it takes it takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of strength to remain focused on the call of God upon your life. Uh, because when you are focused on the call of God upon your life, you will be able to be able to stand steadfast in the Lord. Uh, what the enemy tries to do, he tries to always to distract you. He always wants to distract you from you walking in your purpose, for you coming into alignment to the plan and the purpose of God for your life. Even when you want to better yourself at work, you want to better yourself career-wise, you want to better yourself in life, you want to venture out, you want to build, you want to do awesome things for the Lord and for your family, you're always going to encounter distraction. But it takes strength. Tell your neighbor, strength. strength. It takes strength to remain focused. It is your responsibility, Church of Jesus Christ, is to remain focused. Keep your focus on the Lord. Even though when you feel tired, you feel weary, you feel overwhelmed, you feel burdened, but in that place, you look to God. In that place, you draw strength from within you. You draw strength from within you. Because the Bible says that the Holy Spirit is a person, and the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you. And the Bible says that the Holy Spirit is our strengthener. So you draw strength from within you. You draw strength from within you from the Holy Spirit that lives within you. The Bible says that greater is He that lives on the inside of you than He that's in the world. So I don't Inside of you that will give you the 
situation looks like. Because sometimes you can become so overwhelmed that you don't see the situation for what it is. What is God trying to show you? What, what is God revealing to you in this situation? And you want to assess the situation so you know what situation you're dealing with and then you seek the counsel of the Holy Spirit to give you strategy pertaining to the situation. And that's why it's important, people of God, that you don't walk by sight, but you walk by faith. In the season, don't go by how, don't go by how, uh, by, by how,
There's some rubbish in us that need to get out of us. Are we all understanding what God is saying? He said, I can't go. Do it God's way. Do it God's way. 
Do it with God. Don't try to do it without God. You're going to struggle. And you're going to become so frustrated. That's what the Bible says in John 15 that without God, we can't do nothing. Tell your neighbor, do it with God. Tell your neighbor, these things that we need to build. You need to build your heart, you need to build your mind, you need to build your character, you need to build your life, you need to build your family, you need to build your marriage, you need to build your business, you need to build leaders, you need to build people, you need to build the ministry, you need to build the community, you need to build the nation. You need to build. You need to build. You need to build. You've got to build the new walls. That's why I say to you that we are constantly in the building process. Tell you anybody, we are constantly in the building process. The Bible talks about being built up in your most holy faith. So you've been built up every day in your most holy faith. Amen? Amen? Building, building. We are constantly being built up. Amen? We are constantly in a building process. And so we got to build the house of God. That's why apostles come into the house of God. They come to the churches and they set order. We build. We build. We build. We build. Kingdom people are about building. Religious people are about tearing down. They are the ones that sit in the wall and say, oh, don't you see what he's doing? Oh, don't you see what she's doing? Oh, don't you see who, who they think they are? Who, 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 who? who? But you have the biggest mouth to talk. People are dying in your home. People are dying in your family. And all you do is sit on the wall, so righteous, so righteous, and bring them down and condemn them. And you never want to get on your knees and pray and believe and trust God to touch your family, believe salvation and restoration for your house. You want to be booming and some booming, let me tell you, some of the booming process. Give it to you. 
move on, to live on, to build, to build, to build, to build. That's what the Apostle Paul said. He said in Ephesians chapter 6, he said, Be strong in the Lord. Verse 10. And in the power of his mind. I say to you apostolically, for you to be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, for you to continue to build. Build, build, build. Because God has called you and I to be more than a conqueror. According to Romans 8, verse 37, let me tell someone, you are more than a conqueror. So I challenge you today, my final point to you today. I challenge you today as you go forward, pursue your calling with boldness. Pursue your calling with boldness. Pursue your calling boldly. God's house, people, the faithful ministry, the ministers, we have to build it. My assignment as an apostle is to build. I am a master builder. So I have to build people according to the pattern of heaven. Amen. My assignment is to build ministries. My assignment is to build families. My assignment is to build homes. My assignment is to build a five-fold ministry and ministers. And that's what I'm doing. Amen. It's building. Thank 
for today is that you don't miss out what God has prepared for you. Apostolic Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Give God. 